going to game stores regularly, uh, you certainly see people playing Magic and there'll be Magic Knights and you might see some Hero Click Knights and you're starting to see more and more Dice Master Knights, right? Whether it's tournaments or it's just people getting together to play Dice Masters. And you might be saying to yourself, I get it. It's got good reviews. There's, I can play with people now. But what I don't know is, is what Dice Master set to get, right? I want to get into it, but I don't know what to get. And I'm here to help clarify for that for you so that you can maybe make an informed decision. So first off the bat, the Yu-Gi-Oh set. The only thing I can say about this is I don't understand Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh. You only want to buy this if you love Yu-Gi-Oh. If you love Yu-Gi-Oh, knock yourself out. That's that. If you don't know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh or you don't really care about Yu-Gi-Oh, we're done. Well, let's talk about the other stuff now. So there's also DC Dice Masters, which is just coming out now. There's Marvel Dice Masters and there's D&D Dice Masters, which came out last month. So the question is, if you're going to start out, where do you start? Well, the first thing is, each of these sets comes with a starter pack and you really want to get one of these. Now you can get these for 20 bucks, 20 bucks or less at a game store. You absolutely want to always start with the starter pack. Even if you already actually own some cards, when you go and buy a new set, it's always good to start with the starter pack because it gives you a bunch of cards and they're not bad cards. Uh, they're all marked as being common, but that's because they can be commonly acquired. But some of them are as powerful as rare cards that you can get in booster packs. So really worth it to get yourself a starter pack. It will get you started on the road, obviously get you a bunch of dice that you need and get you a ton of characters, which is great. So first let's go to the comic book side. <clears throat> DC Dice Masters and Marvel Dice Masters are identical. The only difference is the characters, right? So if I love Batman, then it's DC, right? This Batman card and this Storm card are not really any different. Yeah, this one's got Storm and this one's got Batman and they're gonna have powers and abilities that are geared towards their characters, but they play identical. You know how to play one version of the game, you can play with the other, you can swap them around. What's great is that when you're really versed in it and you have tons of the stuff, like, you can go ahead and, and have Batman and you know Lex Luthor battling out against Spider-Man and Wonder Woman or whatever kind of weird combinations that you want. It, it plays together very nicely. But my recommendation is that you always start off with one or the other. So if you're into comic books, you know, you're gonna be either a Marvel guy or a DC guy, even if you like both, you're always leaning one way or the other, go that direction. There's, there's really nothing bad about going for the DC side or the Marvel side, it's just preference. The only thing I would say is don't start out mixing and matching. So the boosters are only a buck each and they come with two cards and two dice, which is awesome because you can really build up very fast. But you don't want to then use that as an opportunity to go, well, let me get a couple of DC guys in here to mix in with the Marvel guys. Mm -mm. Build up your Marvel set if that's what you want to do. Build that up until you're really comfortable with, okay, I've got a lot of guys and I have a lot of dice and I'm really happy with it. And then devote yourself to the DC side and get the starter deck to start off with and then start building some DC. But I wouldn't recommend just sort of mixing them right away. Build up an army, then move forward somewhere else. Now, the interesting one in the mix is going to be these guys. This is D&D Dice Masters, uh, which does use the Dice Master system. So it is still the same idea of, you know, I'm, I'm buying dice from these cards that represent characters or heroes and monsters in the case of Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, you know, and then I've got to draw them out of a bag, place them in the, you know, pay to field them, and then attack and defend with them. All that stuff is the same. And so technically these are interchangeable that you could actually have a, you know, a vampire alongside Batman and that they could somehow work as a team. However, they made a couple of questionable decisions with D&D Dice Masters that make it not the most compatible. Uh, it, it is ish. So the main two things are that they wanted to have heroes in the game fighting monsters. And so the heroes that you play like, you know, I'm a barbarian or I'm a mage or whatever it is, uh, they gain experience specifically from defeating monsters in combat. Right. So if you have, you know, your barbarian and he defeats Batman doesn't count because your barbarian doesn't get anything for beating another hero in combat either. It's only for monsters. And these characters are weak without defeating monsters. That's the idea of it. It just really does not translate or work well having that guy fight somebody on the Marvel or DC side. Then on top of that, they added equipment. Now, equipment exists in Marvel and DC, but even though they aren't fielded like characters, they aren't actually attached to any character. Well, the way it works in D&D is that you not only have to, you know, I'm going to buy a dice for this sword. It's also, okay, now I've got to have a hero or a monster that can equip that item. And then I've got to equip that die when it comes out to that person to give them extra abilities. It's, it's kind of a messy 
And it really doesn't translate well again with these. And that's something WizKids has always done so well is creating games that are broad enough that they can be easily interchangeable, right? They have, you know, uh, hero clicks where it doesn't matter that you have, you know, Spider-Man and Shazam on the same team. You wouldn't know the difference. And that's the same way with the comic book versions of Dice Masters. But D&D, they screwed up. They made it different enough that it just doesn't work right with the others. And honestly, I gotta say, even if you love D&D, it's not that great of a game. It's just not as good as the standard traditional superhero Dice Masters. If you don't like comic books at all and you're really into D&D, you could give it a try. But I would actually say if you're into D&D and you want a tabletop kind of card game, I would actually go with the Pathfinder collectible card game. It's a much stronger game for fantasy than the D and D dice masters. And it, again, this doesn't play well with the other ones and the other ones are just better. So final summary, Yu-Gi-Oh get it. If you love Yu-Gi-Oh, otherwise never speak of it again. Right. Uh, D and D dice masters. I think it's not very great and definitely don't get it. If your intention is that you're going to be mixing it with the Marvel or the DC stuff, it just doesn't work well. And it isn't fun to fight others with it. Even though it should be awesome to have Batman and a dragon fighting alongside each other, it kind of sucks, unfortunately. Uh, but the DC and the Marvel versions are fantastic, and it really just comes down to preference. Just again, remember, I encourage you just focus on one side. Either get a bunch of Marvel stuff for a couple of months, then move to DC, or get all DC for a while, then move to Marvel. Don't just start collecting them all at once, or you're actually going to water down your abilities and what you have. And Because there's a lot of dice to collect, and there's a lot of different character cards to find, and it'll take you some time. So that's my take on the Dice Master series. Can't wait to see what WizKids comes up with next. Hopefully, maybe some alterations to D&D Dice Master so that it makes more sense for Batman to come riding in on a dragon to fight Lex Luthor. Till next time, I'm Hillary Goldstein. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so we can keep making cool videos like this for people like you.